Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to disable the auto mapping for the shared map box. Normally, when you when we go to the Exchange Admin Center and then we find the shared map box and go to Delegation and then if I want to give other people access, I just go to the Read and Magic for Access. Click Edit. You see, I have added David Smith and Linda Smith. You know, to give him them access to this shared mailbox. What happens on the client side if the user opens, you know, log into computer? You know, David Smith logs into the computer, and then if David opens also log client, he will see the HR. You know, shared mailbox is already showing in the in his also log client. But uh, some user, you know, they may have many shared mailbox. They don't want to show the shared mailbox in the auto log client, and they want to access the shared mailbox by himself either manually add it, you know, to Outlook or through the Outlook web access. So how can we do this, you know, disable the auto mapping for the shared mailbox? Let's see, if I go to the, in order to do, to, to do this, you know, uh, disable auto mapping, we need to go to the PowerShell to connect to Exchange Online. So let's open Outlook uh, uh, PowerShell. So after I connect to Exchange Online, I need to run two commands. One is to remove the access for David Smith. Just run this one. So remove dash mailbox permission identity HR at HR email address to the for the user user David Smith in the access rights for access. I just remove this one first. So can you give us why yes? So once this is done, we we'll run the second command is this one. So the second one is uh, you know I wanted to add you know mailbox permission identity is just the HR and the user David Smith. Just click two times and just. So I add a user, give you the full access, but the auto mapping is false. You see this last one, I then I run this again. So now we see, you know, we have given David Smith full access to this uh, shared mailbox, but the auto mapping is wrong, uh, false. So let's go back to the computer. So let's go back. If 
If I just close Outlook, and then I open again. See, HI is still there because it's already mapped. I just want to remove. Let's see, close on. Let's see I just create a new profile, a low profile, and then open. Let's see, go to. So we see, you know, after I create a new prof upload profile, I see, you know, the HR shared map box is not showing up, but the finance is showing up because finance is, uh, you know, doing from the Office 365. I just added the user to the, you know, read and access permission. So the finance has auto mapped, you know, in the user map box uh, outlook client. But the HR, because I ran the command to set auto map to false, so HR is not showing up. If you the ones to access the HR dot you know at uh twenty twenty dot on Microsoft dot com, he can do two ways. One is from the account setting and the account setting go to the change and then click more setting advanced and then add the HR, you know, mailbox in. The other way user can do is you know go to the Web Outlook web access like you know Outlook dot office dot com. And then user go to the click the username on the top right. And then can you can open uh, the mailbox. Put the HR mailbox in.
Yeah, then you can access the HR mailbox. And the other one I showed you uh, before is from here. You go to this setting, account setting change, and then go to more settings, advanced, can you add, add HR, and So can you go OK? Next. Close. So HR is added now by user himself. So it's also can access it now. Yeah. Just disable the automatic, but the user still have the full access for this mailbox. He can add it by himself, or you do from the you know, uh, Outlook web access. And if user wants to remove it, I can go back to here. Go there. Go there. Remove. Remove, not remove from download client. Yeah, that's all I show you today. Thank you.